Sants. My name is Adam Van Sant. Today, I'll be talking about the importance of GDP and how it will affect our economy and markets. So GDP stands for gross domestic product. That is the economic snapshot of a country. In other words, it's to estimate the size of an economy and growth rate and the market value of all final goods and services produced in a country in a given amount of time. Keep in mind that GDP is a backwards looking indicator. The reason I bring this up is because the GDP number that will be released next Thursday, July 30th, will be a reflection of quarter two. This includes the months of April, May, and June. And the reason that's important as well is because coronavirus had a large effect on both the economy and the markets. So the estimates are the GDP number will fall around 30 to 35 percent. Markets have already baked this in a little bit, but let's keep in mind if the percentage is a little bit better, we might expect the markets to do a little bit better. It'll be important to look at the consumer confidence index that is also coming out next week. Of course, as Bobby talked about earlier this week, we still have 25% of the S&P 500 companies reporting earnings. So it will be crucial to see how the economy has been impacted by the consumer. We saw in China that their GDP number went up 3.2% for the second quarter. And in Singapore, we saw quite the opposite. Um, in fact, it fell 41% and they are showing signs of a recession. I'm not guaranteeing or saying that we will go into a recession if we do get a large number, but it will be something to definitely keep an eye on. I hope this has been helpful today. If I can answer any more questions on GDP, please feel free to call Five Plan Partners at 205-989-3498 or also keep up with us on social media or you can also ask us to sign up for our weekly market commentary. Thanks.